Hello everybody, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and today we are back again with another video and this is the part 2 of the father of all remedies, no 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 no, mother of all remedies, yes yes yes, father and mother are both taken into consideration. So I had made a video on the topic mother of all remedies in that I had spoken about Kanchipuram and in that I spoke about how divine that place is and why everybody should visit that place okay and how we can engage ourselves in spiritual life there okay but today uh, there's something else i will share it is related to the place kanchipuram only and if you don't know where kanchipuram is it is in the southern part of india it is in the state of tamil nadu and please make sure you visit it sometimes so i would say first you can see the part one of this video if you have not watched that and then you watch this video okay so there you go if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please go to my website you will find the link of the website in the description of all of my videos including this okay and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him even in kanchi from of course okay so kanchi from is named after the great devotee of Lord Varadraj, Lord Vishnu, he is none other than Kanchi Purna himself. <coughs> so, Kanchi Purna was one of the great saints in the Sri Vaishnava tradition, which is very prominent in the southern part of India, which is one of the four authorized traditions. Okay, so Sri Sampradha is descending from Goddess Lakshmi herself, and in that, the parampara is being followed, where Kanchipurna uh, was the one who used to take care of Kanchipuram as we all know it now. So what happened was one day in Kanchipuram, one of the disciples of Kanchipurna came to him and asked that my dear Guru Maharaj, can you ask Lord Varadaraj tomorrow if I will obtain spiritual perfection in this life? So then Kanchipurna said, yes, 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 I will obviously ask. <laughs> Because he was at that level, he could directly talk to Lord Varadraj. And yes, for those who do, of you who do not know who Varadraj is, Varad, Lord Varadraj is one of the forms of Lord Vishnu. And Vara means to give benedictions. And Varadraj means one who gives the best of the best of the best benedictions to his devotees. So, what happened was, one day, his disciple, with great curiosity, asked him. And then the next day morning, Kanchipuna goes to Lord Varadraj. And he's fanning Varadaraj. Personally, he used to fan. My God. <laughs> and then he goes and asks that, My dear Lord, yesterday one of my disciples had asked me, Will you obtain spiritual perfection? And then Lord Varadaraj said, Oh yes, of course, obviously, 100%, 1000%, 1000000 percent guaranteed. Now only I am signing it in WhatsApp and giving you. <laughs> His spiritual perfection is guaranteed and at the end of his life he will not take another birth and he will return to the spiritual abode of Vaikuntha where I eternally reside and as Lord Krishna says in the Gita Yadagatavana nivartante taddhama paramam mama one who reaches the abode will never return back to this material world he will be free from all the entanglements of karma no birth no death again no pangs of uh, no pangs of this material existence janma mrityu jara vyadi dukha doshanu darshanam janma mrityu jara vyadi these are the miseries of material existence adhyatmic adibhautik adidaivik anyways so this news reached <laughs> in the entire town of kanchipuram that varadara has given confirmation that this disciple of kanchipurna would obtain spiritual perfection at the end of his life and everybody was so happy and then Kanchi Puna <laughs> he became a bit more inquisitive and he said to Lord Varadas thank you very much for granting him spiritual perfection but I have another question so what that question is oh my question is uh, what about me will I obtain spiritual perfection <laughs> Now somebody may say, oh, he is already so elevated that he is directly talking to Lord Varadaraj. I mean, wh why do you uh, need to ask that at all? 
but kanchi puna was still asking that question he was asking about himself that my disciple will get spiritual perfection disciple means in loose terms you can uh, translate it as shishya in one way but what about me will i get <laughs> because he used to think that he has not obtained spiritual perfection out of his humility he used to think like that and then lord varadaraj said to him <laughs> can you write it in the comments or can you guess what he said yes 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 pause this video and write it in the comments lord varadaraj said to him regarding you i don't know <laughs> my god this is insane i mean your disciple will obtain spiritual perfection and now the guru is <coughs> not sure his his case is like <coughs> he may or he may not my god why did he say like this <laughs> then kanchi puna was shocked when he heard that he was not shocked that he could not obtain spiritual perfection but he was shocked at the fact that if i cannot obtain how can my disciple obtain and if my disciple is obtaining why can't i obtain <laughs> but then lord varadaraj said to him when kanchi puna asked that why my disciple is confirmed you have confirmed his visit to the spiritual world but why not about me <laughs> what can i do what should i do what do i need to do and then lord varadaraj answered him see the beauty of your disciple is he is your servant and your problem is you are my servant <laughs> the problem with you is you are directly serving me but your disciple is serving you anybody who is directly a personal servant to you his spiritual perfection is guaranteed 1000% and anybody who is serving me mm, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a question mark there and then kanchi pula was so frustrated he said you do hell with this fanning service i will not stay in kanchi pula at all then he put his fan down and he ran towards shrirangam where is the headquarters of the shri vachana sampradaya and there he ran and fell at the feet of his guru maharaj and he told to his guru that oh my dear guru maharaj there is no use of serving lord varadaraj he is telling me that oh look <laughs> you are serving me that is why you might not obtain spiritual perfection but if my disciple will obtain perfection by serving me then for sure i will also obtain spiritual perfection just by serving you as a disciple yes kanchi puna said that to his guru maharaj <laughs> and then his guru laughed and said yes you stay here and you keep keep serving here i will tell you what what to do what not to do yes so that that's very beautiful you see and one day of course in uh, shirangam as we know anand padmanav is there he is that form of vishnu who is uh, lying down and then that that form of vishnu said to kanchi puna that hey why did you uh, why did you leave me there i am all alone there i am feeling very much separation from you please go back to kanchi puram and then finally his guru had instructed him and then kanchi puram finally went back to varadaraj temple in kanchi puram and then when kanchi puram reached varadaraj temple again varadaraj was very happy <laughs> the kanchi puram has come back congratulations and then kanchi puram said to varadaraj don't think i am serving you i am just fanning you officially because my guru has said i am not fanning you actually i am just following the instructions of my guru yes so anyways that's a very loving past time of exchanges between god and his devotees but the point here is kanchi puna stayed there after after that past time and this story became very very famous later on so the point here is we may uh, be doing so many spiritual practices but even in the fifth canto of shrimad bhagavatam which we all know what shrimad bhagavatam is it is the uh, highest of all the scriptures it was written by the, the great maharishi vyas at the highest level of spiritual perfection and during that time when he wrote the fifth canto there is a verse where rishabh dev says to bharat maharaj bharat maharaj is one of the sons of rishabh dev 
and Rishabdev is our Shakti Avesh avatar of Lord Vishnu himself. And Bharat Maharaj is the one after whom India is named. Bharata. Of course, that word has many meanings, and there are many Bharats actually in the story of uh, the Vedic tradition. There's uh, the brother of Lord Ram also, and there is the Bharat Vansh also, after whom the term Mahabharat is there. Yes, Bharat was also one of the kings in that dynasty. So there are many meanings, and the word Bharata has many meanings. Maybe we'll do a video on that topic itself someday. <laughs> Okay, so uh, he says to Bharat Maharaj, Rishabh Dev says to Bharat Maharaj, Mahat Sevanam Api Dwara Vimukteshu that when you serve the great souls, the doors to liberation will open. Yes, 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 the doors to liberation, you don't have to open it, they will automatically open for you. So, the point here is we can serve God and we need to serve God, there is no doubt on that. And along with, apart from that, we also need to go and serve our guru okay so whoever your guru is you can always go and ask him for some service you can ask the guru that what can i do for you that is also very important now it does not mean that you go and ser keep serving your guru and you don't serve god no that's not the point here the point is that by serving god you make spiritual advancement but by serving your guru when your guru says that you do something then that means you are serving God through the Guru. Okay. And then you make rapid spiritual advancement. Otherwise, you are just hovering here, there, doing this today, doing that tomorrow. Okay. So that is why it is very important to uh, take instruction, take diksha from the Guru. Okay. And that is what I would want to say that Rishabh Dev is telling this. Rishabh Dev is Vishnu himself. Shaktyabha Shavatar. He is an empowered living entity. Yes. He is like Vishnu himself. So he is telling to Bharat Maharaj. And Bharat Maharaj is the eldest and he is about to become the king of the entire world. Mat Sevanam Api Dwala Vimukteshu. That when you serve great souls, the doors to liberation open. My God. So we can always take the opportunity to serve some great soul, some sadhu who is there. Sadhu doesn't necessarily mean the person has to be in saffron or the person has to be in white. The person can also be married. Many, many of the rishis, munis, they were married. Yes, you don't have to stay in forest or you don't have to live like a brahmachari or you don't have to be a sannyasi to be a guru. You don't have to be a renunciate especially. That only then you become a sadhu or only then you become a guru. It's not like that. Yudhishthi Maharaj is also a sadhu actually. Actually, Yudhishthi Maharaj is Raja Rishi. Raja Rishi means one who is living like a king but... He's internally, he's like a Rishi. Vishwamitra is another of, uh, he's another Raja Rishi. Janak Maharaj, the father, father of Sita Devi, he's also another uh, Rishi, Raja Rishi. You see, these are great personalities. So, whenever we get a chance to repay back something to our Gurus, we should always take the advantage. Okay, And uh, we actually cannot repay back to our Gurus because whatever they, ha they have given us, that is timeless. That is, that is like there is no way by which we can repay ok so even if we work for the rest of eternity we cannot we still cannot repay our guru back that is not possible so internally we should always cultivate that gratitude that oh we are so fortunate that we are having a guru at least ok and that guru can be anybody there are many different kinds of gurus there is diksha guru who is the senior most who gives you initiation yes he is the primary guru he is the primary in charge of you uh, uh, going back to the spiritual world and then there is shiksha guru also who gives you knowledge and then there is pat pradastya guru also who takes you towards the spiritual path who shows you in the beginning days of your spiritual life and there can be more than one pat pradastya gurus there can be more than one uh, shiksha gurus like I have many Shiksha Gurus and there has to be one Diksha Guru, okay? So anyways, that's a separate topic about Gurus. But the point here is whenever we get a chance to serve a great soul, we should not lose that opportunity, okay? And by that, all the negativity which is there in our horoscope, which is actually in our life will vanish. It may not happen overnight, but it will definitely happen. Because when they will bless us, it's like divine things coming from God himself. So by their blessings, we will not only be able to cross over all the difficulties, afflictions and debilitations or whatever is there in the chart. Apart from that, we will also gain spiritual strength to 
improve the planets in the horoscope okay so that is what happened so that is what i wanted to say so for example suppose you go to a holy place you have gone to kanchipuram suppose so when you go there you will see many sadhus are there many uh, many brahmins are there you can go and ask them that can we help you can we give you some donation yes because uh, we may not be able to help them personally due to many reasons we may not have time but at least uh, we can uh, help them monetarily that is something we can do yes we can always do that was the harm you don't have to donate uh, 10 million rupees you can just donate 10 rupees that is also very good you can donate 100 rupees you can donate 50 rupees so that you can do or if they are pro conducting other spiritual programs you can go and distribute prasad there yes and especially if you go to varadaraj temple you can always take the malpua which is there <laughs> and the laddu also is there it is not as big as the laddu from tirupati it is a very small laddu it takes i think around 20 rupees i think or 10 rupees i don't know those days it was 10 i don't know now it's how much <laughs> okay so you can do that and wherever if you are in a city then you can find some uh, spiritual center in your town many places there are different centers these days so you can go there and you can take uh, guidance from senior authorities who are well versed in the knowledge of the scriptures okay and there when you go you can always ask them can i render some personal service to you is there something needed to be done which you are trying to do which i can help you anywhere it can be anything and always remember if you have the desire it will happen okay so that is what i would say about mother of all remedies so we can always uh, use this opportunity to serve great souls and by that our all the planets in the chart will improve our jupiter will improve our sun will improve our moon will improve because when god is ultimately blessing us everything will fall in place okay so there you go mother of all remedies part two <laughs> so many of you had requested me for this video so because of you people i have taken out this video now okay so i hope you have watched it and if somebody has not watched the part one then please go and watch there you will know about kanchipuram why i made that video and if you want me to make any other video then please let me know in the comments and there you go if you are new then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation and you want to know how to improve yourself and your planets and your overall life or when you can have a promotion or when you can get a job or when you might get married or into a new relationship then you can always go to my website and you can book a consultation with me okay there you go god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you